Hello and good morning everyone. Morning sir. So we have a code text to complete and we will also discuss the pattern of the question paper today. So that is what we are going to do in this session of one and a half hours. So that's why I uh, asked you to be free today. So we will uh, go up to 11.30. We have to complete that. Uh, Cortex, the, the fourth uh, module, and also we have to discuss the question paper also. So all the exercises, their solutions, I will put it in the Google Classroom. And if required, I can always uh, take an online session for you like this. You can ask when you want, and I will be always be ready to engage sessions for you for any clarifications, any doubts. Okay, so that is not a problem. So. Don't think that this is the last class. You can have any number of classes as required. But officially, I will try to conclude all the topics by today. And even when I am speaking, you can interfere in between, ask any questions. And that is how we are going to do the session today. Okay. So first of all, we'll just uh, look at uh, that fourth module core text which is the story by O. Henry. Uh, a newspaper story, yes. That is the fourth module of the text. The module is titled Media Matters. And uh, media, as you know, is madhyamam. So newspaper is a media. And the core text is about the story of the newspaper, which is written by O. Henry. So O. Henry is, uh, the, uh, is a pseudonym, as we had, uh, we had discussed this also. Pseudonym. Pseudonym is, uh, uh, is false name. Pseudonym or false name. Anna. So, uh, o. Henry's, uh, o. Henry is not the real name of the person. His name is uh, uh, Henry Sidney Porter. Uh, this is his real name. Uh, the, the name O. Henry is the name that he uses to uh, identify himself in writing. Okay, So, that is the core text that we will be discussing today. Okay, so uh, did you uh, did someone go through the story? I think you the why it's no story. Someone try to read that. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. No, okay, okay, well, that's fine. Uh, uh, okay, okay, it's all right. Okay. Thank you for those responses. So, uh, you can even read it after the session. It is not a very uh, difficult story. It's a very simple story. It's a very interesting story. So I'll tell you that it is just the journey of a uh, newspaper. So this is uh, how the newspaper travels. OK, that is what happens in this uh, story. So. Uh, First, uh, you will find the newspaper at the newsstand. So we can see in the first paragraph, the name of that person is there. That is the owner of that newsstand. OK, his name is uh, Giuseppe. So his uh, 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 newsstand, newsstand is uh, a, a place where the newspaper is sold, magazines are sold. Such places are called newsstands. 
ഈ ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പർ ഒക്കെ വെക്കുന്ന കടയാണ് ന്യൂസ് സ്റ്റാൻഡ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സോ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് പ്ലേസ് വെർ വി ഫൈൻ ദ ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പർ സോ ഫ്രം ദയർ ഫ്രം ദയർ ദ ജേണി ഓഫ് ദ ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പർ ബിഗിൻസ് ഓക്കെ സോ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് അറ്റ് ദ ന്യൂസ് സ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഓഫ് ഗിസപ്പി ഓക്കെ ദെൻ വോട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് ദെൻ സംബഡി ബൈസ് ദ ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പർ ഓക്കെ So there is a description of what is there in the newspaper in the beginning. So for the first paragraph you find the different things uh, that you can read in the newspaper. Newspaper and all the contents are written in the newspaper. What is the meaning of the reading? Okay, but we are now focusing on the journey of the newspaper. So the newspaper travels. Okay, for, so the first uh, person who buys the newspaper is a young man okay so that is the uh, the next place of the newspaper uh, a young man okay his name is uh, jack he buys the newspaper from the news newsstand and uh, what does he find from the newspaper he finds a message from his girlfriend to uh to elope so this is the uh the next the second stage of the newspaper so in the first stage the newspaper was at uh, gisapis news stand then uh, a, a man purchases the newspaper he buys the newspaper and now uh, he has Uh, found a message by all the newspaper and the user down he finds a message from his girlfriend asking to elope elope ennu parneyanal stalam viduga nadu viduga olichu viduga enakeyana artha so uh, that is the message that he finds from the newspaper you see you know that in newspapers we also find personal messages personal messages some padaram nammal newspaper la kedarunde engane kandittille personal messages can you hear me yes sir oh. okay okay so uh, we are talking of personal messages so you can uh, also send personal message but adana namukku selappo ee kaanmanilla nokke parnanulla parichayangal okke kaanam magane tirichu varenga magale tirichu varu nokke they they are all personal messages so it is possible to find personal messages also on the newspaper you know, though the newspaper is a പബ്ലിക് മീഡിയ പബ്ലിക് മീഡിയ ആണെങ്കിലും അതിൽ ചിലപ്പോൾ ഇങ്ങനെ പേഴ്സണൽ മെസ്സേജസ് ഉണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ അങ്ങനെ ഒരു പേഴ്സണൽ മെസ്സേജ് കിട്ടുന്നതാണ് ഈ ഇത് ദിസ് പേഴ്സൺ ദിസ് യങ് മാൻ കോൾഡ് ജാക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദി സെക്കൻഡ് സ്റ്റേജ് ഓഫ് ദി ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പേഴ്സ് ജേണി ഇറ്റ് റീച്ചസ് ദി ഹാൻഡ്സ് ഓഫ് ദി യങ് മാൻ കോൾഡ് ഗിസ ഐ മീൻ ജാക്ക് ഹു ബൈസ് ഇറ്റ് ഫ്രം ഗിസ പി സ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഈ മെസ്സേജ് കിട്ടി കഴിഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ പിന്നെ അയാളുടെ ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പറിൻ്റെ യൂസ് കഴിഞ്ഞു സോ വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് the newspaper falls from his pocket but now the newspaper is on the street okay so now the newspaper falls on the street so that is the third stage of the newspaper well, uh, first stage le it was in gisapis new stand in the second stage it uh, it was with the young man called jack who bought it from the new stand third stage le it has fallen from his street and it i i mean it, from his pocket and it falls on the street and uh, what happens uh, it starts moving in the street because uh, of the wind the newspaper uh, starts moving from there so uh, to tell what happened to jack he finds the lady because he reads the message i message vaichittu adana paragraph illada 
okay he uh, he finds his girlfriend okay and his purpose of the newspaper is fulfilled appa ayal the newspaper inde use avada complete ay because he had read the message from his girlfriend and he finds the girlfriend at the place where she had mentioned in the newspaper so that purpose of the newspaper is there fulfilled the third stage the newspaper is now fallen from the pocket of jack it is now in the street and what happens it is moving in the wind okay the newspaper is moving in the wind and let us see what happens see so the wind picks up the newspaper and uh, the, because the newspaper flies in the air it hits a horse carriage okay horse carriage what is a horse carriage then you know the spider wheel buggy you know it is a horse horse carriage driven by a horse so that is what uh, happens it is uh, it hits the horse's face what will happen if the newspaper hits the horse's face kudreya kudre vandi aanu appo kudre vandi kudreda mogathakke paper vannu veenu kaiyanal paper ingane kaattathu parannu vannu kudre kudreda mogathu vannu veenu kaiyanal what will happen what will happen Okay, I'll take up that paragraph for you, so we'll be able to find out. See, this is what happens here. So the wind flapped the face and the flapped the newspaper against the face of the horse. So what what has happened here? ും <laughs> Exactly, Joffy. The buggy is upturned. Buggy is upturned means buggy is upturned. The buggy is upturned means buggy is upturned. The buggy is upturned means buggy is upturned. The third picture is buggy. First picture is water hydrant. Second picture is holes. Third picture is buggy. The buggy is carriage. The spider wheel is carriage. That is the name of the buggy. The name of the man who is traveling in that carriage. So there is an accident. So, that is the third stage of the newspaper so the newspaper is now in the street it is the, carried by the wind and it causes an accident so this is the third stage of the newspaper appo adile appo nammal adutha character like vannu this character the third uh, first character is gisappi the second character is jack and the third uh, person is the man traveling in this buggy who meets with an accident okay so he uh, this accident happens in the front of a certain brownstone mansion okay so this man he has a name his name is bobby okay so it is good to remember these names okay so that is there now so his name is bobby and he uh, he has another story okay the newspaper has to do uh, so, something with him also because it is because of the newspaper that he 
മെറ്റ് വിത്ത് ദി ആക്സിഡന്റ് അപ്പൊ അയാളുടെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പറിന് ഒരു സ്വാധീനമുണ്ട് ഇവിടെ സ്വാധീനം എങ്ങനെ വെച്ചാൽ ഇയാൾ ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പർ വായിച്ചിട്ടല്ല ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പർ കാരണം ഒരു ആക്സിഡന്റ് ഉണ്ടായി ആക്സിഡന്റ് ഉണ്ടായത് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇൻ ഫ്രണ്ട് ഓഫ് ദ ഹൗസ് ഓഫ് ഹിസ് ലേഡി ലവ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഹി ഹാഡ് പ്രൊപ്പോസ് ടു എ ലേഡി ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ലേഡി ഹാഡ് റിജക്റ്റഡ് ഹിസ് ലവ് ദ ലേഡി ഹാഡ് ഡിനൈഡ് ഹിസ് ലവ് ഷീ സെറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ ഡോണ്ട് വോണ്ട് ടു മാരി യു സോ ദിസ് മാൻ വെൻ ഹി മീറ്റ്സ് എൻ ആക്സിഡന്റ് ഇൻ ഫ്രണ്ട് ഓഫ് ദ ഹൗസ് ഓഫ് ദ സെയിം ലേഡി അപ്പം ആക്സിഡന്റ് നടക്കുന്ന ഈ ബ്രൗൺ സ്റ്റോൺ മാൻഷൻ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് കാണുന്നത് ഓക്കെ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ ഹൗസ് ഓഫ് ഹിസ് ലേഡി ലവ് okay and what the, what happens she thinks she misunderstands so there is a misunderstanding misunderstanding okay she misunderstands that he is trying to commit suicide in front of her house because he reject he was rejected ayala reject cheyadagonde ayala ende veedna munbil vanna aathmathi eyanannu ee lady vicharichu so now what happens the lady feels pity for him and what does she do she uh, accepts his love and now he uh, is assured of getting married to her so this is the third effect of the newspaper okay so the uh, newspaper is able to bring together a man and a woman who were uh, destined not to get married so that is this effect and the third stage munamtha stage le patuna adha so now the newspaper has caused an accident and if some if you cause an accident what will happen if you cause an accident on the street you will be arrested so that if you cause an accident on the road you will be taken up by the police so that is uh, the next stage in the fourth stage the newspaper is with the policeman okay and the policeman's name is also given there അതാണ് അടുത്ത പാരഗ്രാഫിൽ കാണുന്നത് ആർ യു ഏബിൾ ടു ഫോളോ എനി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് മനസ്സിലാവുന്നുണ്ടോ സ്റ്റോറി മനസ്സിലാവുന്നുണ്ടോ സോ നൗ ദി ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പർ ഇസ് വിത്ത് ദ പോലീസ്മാൻ now the policeman has arrested the newspaper because it caused an accident but when he goes through the newspaper he finds something okay ayal newspaper eduthu vaichu nokumbo he he reads something what does he read he reads an article okay a headline which actually motivates the police okay there is an article which speaks very highly of the police which speaks uh, very good things about the police so he feels that the newspaper is not that bad appa police ne kurichu nalla karyangal or article ayalu vaichu appa ayaku thoni newspaper athra mosham alla appa arrest cheyidathu ayalu adu aa newspaper ne madaki bangiyayittu madaki he uh, decides not to take any action against the newspaper because the newspaper has written something good about the uh, the policeman so that is the fourth stage then the fourth stage it is the policeman obrain who has the newspaper and what happens to him he is motivated ayalku nalla motivation kittum karanam there is an article in the newspaper which speaks very highly of the uh, police force so what does he do he neatly folds the newspaper and he keeps it with him after some time he notices a boy who is passing through the street on the paragraph and he hands it over to that boy a kutti ke the newspaper kodu so that is the next stage the newspaper uh, reaches the house of this boy his name is given there in the paragraph okay and he uh, that boy uh, is taking that newspaper to his house where he also has a sister called gladys okay so the newspaper is now with the fifth stage the newspaper is with johnny and gladys johnny is the boy who was walking through the street and 
The newspaper was given by the policeman to Johnny, who takes it to his home, where he also has his sister. So now the newspaper is in the house of Johnny and Gladys. And there is a description about Gladys here. So Gladys had written to the newspaper editor asking for some beauty tips. newspaper column down. Here, uh, she had so certain people look only for certain things. Chalere sports page matra no, chalere chalema column no, chalere pradeshiya matra no, chalere editorial no, chalere job opportunities no. So she is a girl who is interested in beauty tips. So she had written to the editor editor of the newspaper for some beauty tips. So now when she gets the newspaper, what does she do? She uses the newspaper as a beauty enhancing tool. Newspaper na use So that is the uh, next stage where the newspaper is taken by Gladys as a beauty enhancement tool. So how does she use How does she use Nulavana paragraph? She uses it to pin it be behind her skirt so that there is a sound. Newspaper movie in sound and now. Karagara sound and now. sound. It has similar sound of silk. Apa silk was from the Richard Anand feeling where I made it. She pins newspaper beneath her skirt so that when she walks, the sound, the rustling sound, rustling sound and all so the rustling sound is just like the sound of silk. Silk in the other sound I don't So the, uh, the, uh, she uses the newspaper uh, to imitate the sound of silk. So that is the next stage where she uses the newspaper to enhance her beauty. So this is the next use of the newspaper. The newspaper is used as a beauty enhancement tool. Now, the newspaper is newspaper. So, how did it increase her beauty? Did it increase her beauty? Was it useful? That is described here in the next paragraph where she met another girl who misunderstood that she is wearing silk. The newspaper is not presented Silkana the Rikin sound of the Silkan the Rikinama Adatha Vitla Pinguti So she becomes jealous of Gladys. So when somebody becomes jealous of us, we are happy, isn't it? So Gladys becomes happy that she is make she is able to make somebody jealous of her. So now she feels that the newspaper is useful. So for Gladys. The newspaper is useful in a different way. So how is it useful? She used it as a beauty enhancement tool and uh, she pinned it beneath her skirt so that when she walked, the sound, the, rust the rustling sound, I'm going to describe it in the world, eh? rustling sound. Rustle, you know, we have a sound, we have a sound, a rustling sound. The rustle is that kind of sound which is made when you uh, turn your newspaper in your hands paper at the kind of sound on a rustling sound so when you are bearing in the newspaper beneath your skirt it can create that kind of a sound and that sound is similar to the sound of silk silk in an sound for the monitors sami mula the one silk on that chicken on the chili so now she becomes happy so the gladys now becomes happy and the newspaper's journey continues okay the next in the next section that is the next stage for can now we discuss the seventh stage for example now the newspaper is with the father of gladys and uh, johnny he is a union leader he has a different use for the newspaper he finds a puzzle in the newspaper he's a labor leader okay he uh, 
ഈ ഫൈൻസ് എ പസിൾ ഇൻ ദ ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പർ ആൻഡ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട്സ് സോൾവിംഗ് ദാറ്റ് പസിൾ അപ്പോൾ ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പറിൽ പലതരത്തിലുള്ള അതും നമ്മൾ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് ക്രോസ് വേർഡ് ഉണ്ടാവും സം ഗെയിംസ് വിൽ ബി ഡയർ ഇൻ ദ ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പർ സോ ഹി ഫൈൻസ് എ ലേബർ ലീഡർ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ യൂണിയൻ ലീഡറാണ് ഹി ഫൈൻസ് ദാറ്റ് കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് എ യൂസ് ഫോർ ദ ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പർ വട്ട് ഡസ് ഹി ഡു ഹി യൂസസ് ദ ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പർ ടു സോൾവ് എ പസിൽ ഓക്കെ സോ വെൻ ഹി സോൾവ്സ് ദ പസിൽ വോട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് ഹി ഹി ഹാസ് ടു പാർട്ടിസിപ്പേറ്റ് ഇൻ എ സ്ട്രൈക്ക് അപ്പം നമ്മൾ എന്തെങ്കിലും പുസ്തകം ആരെങ്കിലും വായിച്ചിരിക്കുമ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ സമയം മറന്നു പോകും സമയം മറന്നു പോയാൽ നമ്മൾ എവിടെയെങ്കിലും പോകേണ്ട കാര്യം നമ്മൾ മറന്നു പോകും യു വിൽ ഫർഗെറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് യു ഹാവ് ടു ഗോ സം മെയർ സോ ബിക്കോസ് ഹി വാസ് ബിസി സോൾവിങ് ദ പസിൽ ഹി ഫർഗെറ്റ്സ് ടു ഗോ ഫോർ ദ സ്ട്രൈക്ക് സോ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ സെവൻത്ത് സ്റ്റേജ് വേർ ദ ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പർ ഇസ് വിത്ത് ദ ലേബർ ലീഡർ ആൻഡ് ഹി ബിക്കോസ് ഹി ഈസ് സോൾവിങ് ദ പസിൽ ഹി ഫർഗെറ്റ്സ് ടു ഗോ ഫോർ ദ സ്ട്രൈക്ക് സ്ട്രൈക്കിന് പോകാനായിട്ടാണ് മറന്നു പോകും സ്ട്രൈക്കിന് പോകാനായിട്ട് മറന്നു പോകുമ്പോൾ എന്ത് സംഭവിക്കും ബിക്കോസ് ഹി ഫർഗെറ്റ്സ് ടു ഗോ ഫോർ ദ സ്ട്രൈക്ക് ദി പീപ്പിൾ ഹു വെയ്റ്റ് ഫോർ ഹിം ഫോർ എ ലോങ് ടൈം സ്ട്രൈക്കിന് പോകാൻ സ്ട്രൈക്കിന് ലീഡർ വരാതെ സ്ട്രൈക്ക് നടത്താൻ പറ്റില്ല സ്ട്രൈക്ക് നടത്തണമെങ്കിൽ ലേബർ ലീഡർ വരണം ബിക്കോസ് ഹി ഡസൻറ്റ് കം ബിക്കോസ് ഹി ഡസ് നോട്ട് കം ഫോർ ദ സ്ട്രൈക്ക് വോട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് ദേ ഡിസൈഡ് ടു they they decided to avert the strike okay so the strike was averted averted means uh, avoided okay so this is the meaning of averted the strike was averted because the leader does not come for the meeting so for the strike the strike is avoided so, so there is no strike so that is the next use of the newspaper the newspaper was able to avoid a strike because the newspaper was used by the labor leader to solve a puzzle he forgets to forgets the time and because of he because he forgets to go for the strike the strike was called off the people who participated in the strike they decide not to conduct the strike aba avaru parnu leader varatha sadhikku namukku strike venda ennu so that is the uh, next use of the newspaper so now we are at the seventh stage where the labor leader is using the newspaper to avoid a i mean to solve a puzzle and because he was busy solving the puzzle and he uh, uh, he he did not go for it. so they avoided tor of tor of is the past tense of tear ടെയർ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ കീറുക എന്നാണ് അർത്ഥം ടെയറിൻ്റെ പാസ്റ്റൻസ് ആണ് ടോർ ഓഫ് കീറിയെടുത്തു സോ ഹി ടോർ ഓഫ് അപ്പം അയാൾ ആ പസിൽ സോൾവ് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടി പേപ്പറിൽ നിന്ന് കീറിയെടുത്തിട്ടാണ് സോൾവ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ മീനിങ് ഓഫ് ടോർ ഓഫ് സോ ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദി ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പർ that is the next benefit of the newspaper or samaram bodum olivakkanayite newspaper na kondu sadichu so that is the seventh stage of the newspaper the, ne- the next stage the newspaper is used by the young boy johnny so that is the eighth stage he has a very innovative use for the newspaper he uses the newspaper to protect himself from the teacher how does he use the newspaper to protect himself from the teacher's punishment that is described in this paragraph okay let us see how he uses it so he uh, he has placed the newspaper he had folded the newspaper carefully and places the newspaper in places inside his clothes where the teacher usually beats him the teacher adikina bagathakke the newspaper thirigi vekku appo endu varum the beating will not affect his skin so he doesn't feel the pain so that is how he has found a 
way for the uh, a news a use for the newspaper that is the eighth stage where the newspaper is used to buy the boy young boy called johnny to protect himself from the punishment given by the newspaper so these are the eight stages of the uh, journey of the newspaper so if you look at all these eight stages they are all totally different namala sadharana newspaper ne it is no a transmitter of information it is a transmitter of knowledge in the kadiyil kaanumbo newspaper ne vyathasthamayittla ubhayogangalana ee kadhayil varunu okay so if you, if you broadly look at all these things all these uh, eight stages see right from uh, gisapis new stand up to the use of johnny there are eight stages here all these eight stages they indicate the different the different aspects of the okay is the story clear okay thank you thank you for those responses very nice thank you so here after uh, telling the story he is asking this question okay then author is asking us this question so so this is a uh, sarcastic question sarcastic question what is sarcasm sarcasm in varnanda സർക്കാസം കേട്ടിട്ടുണ്ട് സർക്കാസം എക്സാക്ട്ലി യെസ് പരിഹാസമാണ് ആക്ഷേപം ആക്ഷേപഹാസ്യം എന്നൊക്കെ പറയും അതൊരു പരിഹസിച്ചു കൊണ്ടുള്ള ഒരു ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ആണ് സോ ഹി ഈസ് മേക്കിംഗ് ഫൺ ഓഫ് ദ ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പർ ആക്ച്വലി നമ്മൾ സാധാരണ ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പർ കൊണ്ട് അങ്ങനെ ഉണ്ടായി ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പർ കൊണ്ട് സമരം മാറി എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പർ എഴുതിയ എഡിറ്റോറിയൽ കൊണ്ടല്ല സമരം മാറിയത് മറിച്ചോ ആ സമരം നടത്തുന്ന ആൾ ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പറിലെ ഒരു ഒരു പദപ്രശ്നം ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ട് അയാളുടെ സമയം പോയതാണ് അപ്പം അതുകൊണ്ട് ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പറിൻ്റെ പവറിനെ പരിഹസിക്കുകയാണ് അയാൾ ചെയ്യുന്നത് സോ അത്രയും കഥ പറഞ്ഞ ശേഷം ഇനി ഈസ് ആസ്കിങ് ക്യാൻ എനി വൺ ഡൗട്ട് ദ പവർ ഓഫ് ദ പ്രസ് എന്നാണ് അതൊരു പരിഹാസമാണ് ഈ ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പറിനെ പരിഹസിക്കുകയാണ് അപ്പം നമ്മൾ സാധാരണ പവർ ഓഫ് ദ പ്രസ് എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ പവർ പ്രസ്സിൽ എഴുതി വിടുന്ന കാര്യങ്ങൾ കൊണ്ടുള്ള എഫക്റ്റ് പക്ഷേ ഇവിടെ പ്രസ്സിൽ എഴുതി വിട്ട കാര്യങ്ങൾ കൊണ്ടൊന്നും അല്ല ഇതൊക്കെ സംഭവിച്ചത് പല കാര്യങ്ങളും നടന്നത് വളരെ യാദൃശ്ചികമായിട്ടാണ് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ദ ഇതിലൊരു എഡിറ്റോറിയൽ കുട്ടികളെ പണിഷ് ചെയ്യുന്നതിനെ കുറിച്ചാണ് അതായത് വിദ്യാർത്ഥികളെ അടിക്കാൻ പാടില്ല എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞൊരു എഡിറ്റോറിയൽ ഉണ്ട് അത് നമുക്ക് ടെക്സ്റ്റിൻ്റെ ബിഗിനിങ്ങിൽ കാണാം എഗൻസ്റ്റ് കോർപ്പറൽ പണിഷ്മെൻസ് കോർപ്പറൽ പണിഷ്മെന്റ് കോർപ്പറൽ പണിഷ്മെന്റ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഫിസിക്കൽ ആയിട്ടുള്ള പണിഷ്മെന്റ് അടിക്കുക വടി കൊണ്ട് അടിക്കുക അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അങ്ങത്തരത്തിൽ വേദനിപ്പിക്കുന്ന പണിഷ്മെന്റ്സിനെയാണ് കോർപ്പറൽ പണിഷ്മെന്റ്സ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ശാരീരികം ശാരീരികമായിട്ട് പണിഷ് ചെയ്യുക അത്തരം പണിഷ്മെന്റ്സിനെ എതിരായിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു എഡിറ്റോറിയൽ ഈ പത്രം എഴുതിയിട്ടുണ്ട് പക്ഷേ അത് വായിച്ചിട്ടൊന്നുമല്ല ജോണി പണിഷ്മെന്റ് എന്ന് രക്ഷപ്പെടുന്നത് സോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വൈ this is a sarcastic comment the last sentence of the story is a sarcastic comment on the influence of the press the power of the press and the media, press nu arnya media newspaper enna artham ee newspaper ennu parayunnathinte effect ne kaliyakkana ee author cheyunnu so you can see in the whole story that people have many different uses for the newspaper other than reading പലരും അത് വായിക്കാനല്ല മറ്റു പല ആവശ്യങ്ങൾക്കും വേണ്ടിയിട്ടാണ് ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നത് 
so that is the uh, uh, the irony of the story okay you can also call it the irony of the story appo nammal pradeekshikkunnathu newspaper story nammal newspaper ne endo veli effect ne kurichana so this is the unexpected appo o henry de kadagalde ekka pratheegatha there will be something that is unexpected or a twist in the story which uh, makes the story uh, different from what we expect when we start reading the story appo kadha vaaikkan thodangumbo namukku endano or expectation or pratheeksha adil ninnum tigachum vyathyasthamayittullathayirikkum ee o henry kadagalde ekka avasaram so once you complete the uh, story you understand that this is not about the power of the newspaper it is actually making fun of the power of the newspaper he is uh, making sarcastic comment making fun he is uh, he is making an ironical comment on the least effect that a newspaper has a newspaper no any effect onnu illa annana actually ayalad ee kadha konde sthapikkum so that is it this is the story of the Yes, so that is the fourth uh, core text. I'll uh, put up all the uh, notes, the answers to all the exercises, etc. of all the modules in the Google Classroom. In case you have any doubt uh, with regard to any of those things, you can ask. Uh, you can call me, you can send me messages, you can send even messages in the group also. i will be ready to clarify any doubts that you may have at any time okay so can we now move on to see the question paper can we look at the question paper are you ready to move yes, on to the yes okay thank you thank you for the response okay now to now we will discuss the pattern of the question paper it is already posted in the google classroom i have posted a model question paper i'll take up that same model question paper for you and uh, before i go into the model question paper i'll tell you how the question paper is divided okay the question paper has three parts okay part a so this is how the question paper is divided part a part b and part c angana moonu aitana question paper ne divide cheyadu part a ennu parayunnathu is completely based on core text core text ne base cheyidittullana part a core text ennu parayil there are five core texts which are the five core texts that we have first one is the speech who who speech alda speech ana exactly jo fe seven suzuki da speech ana first uh, core text second core text ennu parayunathu for the core text second core text and then matte aliens varunathu the water replays adana second core text the third core text is uh, my greatest olympic prize the autobiographical story by jesse owens fourth one is the poem ants at the olympics that is the fourth core text and the fifth core text is a newspaper story by o henry appa angane anju core text aanu ullathu part a muluvanum anju core text ne base cheyidulla questions aanu they are actually descriptive questions muluvanum descriptive questions aanu അതിനെ പറയുന്നത് അനോട്ടേഷൻസ് എന്നാണ് അനോട്ടേഷൻസ് അനോട്ടേഷൻസ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ പറയുമ്പോൾ ദ ആർ അനോട്ടേഷൻസ് ആർ കോൺടെക്സ്റ്റ് ബേസ്ഡ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ദറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ലൈൻ ഫ്രം ദ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഗിവൺ ആൻഡ് ദർ വിൽ ബി ത്രീ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ദാറ്റ് വൺ ലൈൻ സോ ദർ വിൽ ബി ഈച്ച് ഫോർ ഈച്ച് അനോട്ടേഷൻ ദർ വിൽ ബി seven marks so annotations are context i'll repeat it for you annotations are context based questions that is one line from the any of the core text will be given and there will be three questions based on that so like that there will be four sets of questions 
So that, that is the first part. So let us look at that question paper to make it more clear for you. So this is the uh, question paper. This is the this is how the question paper will look like. English for communication one and on a paper in the page. Text in the page on words to deeds. Uh, Namely on the exam in the page, English for communication one. And first semester English for communication one. No? Second semester English for communication two man. Okay, it is a three hour question paper. Uh, total marks is 100. So look at uh, this is the uh, part A. And then the first one, you can see that it is a line taken from the text. I am only a child and I don't have all the solutions, but I want you to realize neither do you. About the text in the sentence, the other again, and then a base here, more questions. About every question, every marker, and I'm the question at the end of marker, more I'm the question in the mark. About when you write uh, answer is the medium number, other question the mark and search on a response here. Oh, could all mark other than there should be a longer answer. So for the first one, you can just give it as a one word, you can just write seven Suzuki or whatever is the answer. The, for the second question, you may have to answer in one or two sentences. And the third question, you will have to write a paragraph. So you get seven marks for one annotation. I'm going to nail annotation and all. There will be four annotation questions in part A. So part A means four annotations. Each annotation has seven marks. So you get a total of four into seven. That is 28 marks for part a four into seven atrayana namka first i can show you that see one two three four four questions are there so each question has got seven marks so you get a total of 28 marks how does how does that 20 28 come it comes from the 4 into 7. So this is part A. Part A no, no, core cortex based questions. Are, no? There will be four annotations. Each annotation will have seven marks. So you can see that the first question, can you identify the chapter? First question is the chapter. No, no, I am only a child. Can you identify the cortex? Exactly, it is the speech by Savant Suzuki. Second one, because he whispered Venus and they talked about the very watery place, I thought they meant Venice. I identify the chapter. The watery place. Exactly, and Maria, it is the watery place. The second module, Allah, Vortex Rana, watery place. That's right, Sapina. So, uh, yes, this is the story of the aliens visiting the Earth. So, uh, there will be three questions based on that one line. You have to answer those questions. So, you get seven marks from that. The third one, the third question is from the next core text. Autobiography, yes. My greatest Olympic prize written by Jesse Owens. Did I come 3,000 miles for this? Did I come all this distance for following this, following in this event? I thought bitterly, I thought sadly. So here I is Jesse Owens. He is speaking about his failure in qualifying for the Olympics. And there are three questions based on that. And you answer those questions, you get seven marks. The last question in part A is uh, the... Newspaper story exactly. The specific, specific event is Gladys using the newspaper as a beauty tool. Gladys is using the newspaper as a beauty tool to increase her beauty. And uh, she says that the newspaper is making the sound of silk. And the meaning of these expressions, all these things are there in the text itself. 
so if you answer those questions you get 7 marks so only these four questions are there in part a ee part a le naal question mathrame ullu pakshe ee naal questionum sub questions undu so all these four questions have sub questions so you get a total of uh, 28 marks because there are sub questions though there are just four questions each question has got sub questions which brings a total of 7 marks to each question so you get 28 marks in part a so that is about part a part b is grammar okay so part b is grammar and part c is composition so this is how the uh, question paper is structured that is you have the core text in part a in part b you have grammar that is all language aspects appa cheri cheri questions aayirikum one mark two mark anganeyulla questions aayirikum part c ne you will have longer questions where you will have to write uh, it will be testing your writing skills adhinana composition ennu parayunnathu composition means uh, testing your writing skills okay so that is writing skills on a composition so there we will have a, a larger writing paragraphs with more marks so let us now move on to part b so the first questions first set of question in part b is related to vocabulary so you will have to uh, find out the correct word so all these words which are given in bracket some of them may you may have encountered in the text itself may have seen these words in the text itself so you have to use the suitable word the most suitable word for the sentence if you use the correct word you get one mark for that question so that is the meaning of appropriate appropriate means suitable anyojima is appropriate meaning of appropriate is aniyojima is so there are three choices given in brackets you can choose the right word which is suitable for that particular sentence so there are five such questions in the first set of questions in part b the next set of questions is understanding meaning from context ana adutha understanding meaning from context After, when you read uh, a sentence from the context itself you can understand the meaning appo idellam pudhiya vaakkal aayirikkum nammal text il kaanatha vaakkal aayirikkum kaiyna exercise il ellam text il kandittulla vaakkal aanengil idu mulavum nammal kaanatha vaakkal aayirikkum appo engena adinte meaning kandu pidikkum meaning kandu pidikkanengil aa sentence mulavum nammal vaichu nokkanam adil endengilum oru clue undavu from that clue you can find the answer i'll do one for you her tea was tepid so she put it in the microwave ivide tepid in the meaning endha irikka cold exactly how do you understand which is the clue word which helps you to understand the meaning microwave exactly that's right hari priya and anmitya yes jofi microwave ennalla or clue word kondu namukku tepid ennalladu indathu cold aanu manasilavum kana microwave il nammal vekkanadu choodaakkan irikkum so that is one word there will be some other words which will help us to find us the meaning of the difficult word appo or sentence la or vaakku difficult aanengilum vere chala vaakkal sentence la ullathu നമ്മളെ ആ ഡിഫിക്കൽട്ട് വേർഡിന്റെ മീനിങ് കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാൻ സഹായിക്കും സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് വോട്ട് ഇസ് മെൻ ബൈ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡിങ് മീനിങ് ഫ്രം കോണ്ടാക്ട് സോ ദറ്റ് ഇസ് വെരി ഈസി ടു സ്കോർ ഓൾ ദ ഫോർ മാർക്സ് ഇൻ ദിസ് സെറ്റ് ഓഫ് എക്സസൈസസ് ഈ ഒരു സെറ്റിൽ നാലും നാലും മാർക്കും നമുക്ക് ഈസി ആയിട്ട് കിട്ടും ഇഫ് യു ക്യാൻ ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ദ ക്ലൂ വേർഡ്സ് വിച്ച് ആർ ദയർ വിച്ച് ഹെൽപ്പ് എസ് ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദ മീനിങ് ഓഫ് ദി അതർ വേർഡ് Let us look at the second question also. The hurricane annihilated the whole town to the point that nothing remained. Exactly, Jofi. Nothing remained in the world. 
നമുക്ക് അതാണ് ക്ലൂ വേർഡ്സ് നത്തിങ് റിമൈൻഡ് എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ തന്നെ നമുക്ക് മനസ്സിലാവും ഒന്നും ബാക്കിയില്ല എന്നാണ് അപ്പോൾ അതിൽ മൂന്ന് ചോയ്സസ് ആണ് അപ്പോൾ നെഗറ്റീവ് ആയിട്ടുള്ളത് ഡിസ്ട്രോയിഡ് മാത്രമേ ഉള്ളൂ സോ ഡിസ്ട്രോയിഡ് ഇസ് ദ കറക്റ്റ് ആൻസർ എക്സാക്ട്ലി അതർ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഡിസ്ട്രോയിഡ് ഡിസ്ട്രോയിഡ് യെസ് അബ്രാമി ദറ്റ് ഇസ് റൈറ്റ് ഡിസ്ട്രോയിഡ് അപ്പോൾ അങ്ങനെ നമുക്ക് ബാക്കിയുള്ളതിൻ്റെ മീനിങ് കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാം ഓക്കെ ലെറ്റ് എസ് നോ മൂവ് ഓൺ ടു ദി നെക്സ്റ്റ് സെറ്റ് ഓഫ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് യൂസിങ് കൊളൊക്കേഷൻസ് ഓക്കെ കൊളൊക്കേഷൻസ് ഐ തിങ്ക് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ദർ ഇൻ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് മോഡ്യൂൾ കൊളൊക്കേഷൻസ് മീൻസ് സെർട്ടൺ വേർഡ്സ് ഗോ വിത്ത് സെർട്ടൺ വേർഡ്സ് ചില വാക്കുകളുടെ കൂടെ ചില വാക്കുകളാണ് ഉപയോഗിക്കുക ഹിയർ മെയ്ഡ് എ ബാത്ത് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇസ് റോങ് യൂസേജ് അപ്പോൾ മെയ്ഡിന് പകരം മെയ്ഡ് ഇസ് റോങ് ഓക്കെ മെയ്ഡ് ഇസ് റോങ് അപ്പോൾ മെയ്ഡിന് പകരം ഏത് വാക്ക് യൂസ് ചെയ്യാം നമ്മൾ ബാത്ത് എന്നുള്ളതിന് നമ്മൾ എപ്പോഴും യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്ന വേബ് ടേക്ക് എ ബാത്ത് എന്നാണ് നമ്മൾ യൂസ് ചെയ്യുക സോ ഇവിടെ പാസ്റ്റൻസ് ആയതുകൊണ്ട് വി വിൽ ഹാവ് ടു യൂസ് ടുക്ക് എ ബാത്ത് Yes, that's right. Exactly. Yes, Joffi, Sri Lakshmi, Nandana. Take on out of it. So, Revi took a bath in the cold water. So, uh, the city was flooded because of thick rain. Thick paper, thick glass, but thick rain. Exactly. Yes. Heavy on out of it. That's right. So, suitable words. Certain using of suitable words. That is what we collocation. The right word in the right place. That is called collocation. So, heavy rain is correct using. The next one uh, is synonyms and antonyms. What are synonyms? Synonyms are words with same meaning. Antonyms are words with opposite meaning. Okay. Synonyms are words with same meaning. So, underline the word called Synonyms or antonyms are the question. Okay, the next one is uh, passage correction. Here in the passage, there are some connecting words. Okay, so the words which are used to signal words, lexical words. We can use the article and the other preposition. അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു അഡ്ജക്റ്റീവ് ആയിരിക്കും ഇതൊക്കെ ചിലപ്പോൾ റോങ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള യൂസേജ് ആയിരിക്കും അപ്പോൾ അതിനെ നമ്മൾ കറക്റ്റ് ചെയ്യണം സോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഗ്രാമർ കറക്ഷൻ ഇഫ് യു സിംപ്ലി പുട്ട് ഇറ്റ് 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 ക്യാൻ ബി കോൾഡ് എ ഗ്രാമർ കറക്ഷൻ എക്സസൈസ് ഐ ഡിഡ് നോട്ട് ഹാവ് എ അംബർല ഇസ് റോങ് വട്ട് ഈസ് യെസ് അംബർല ബിഗിൻസ് വിത്ത് എ ബബൽ സൗണ്ട് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ബി ആൻ അംബർല I went to the shop. Yes. Thank you for those responses. Very good. And umbrella. Wonderful. I went to the shop. Although I had promised to buy a toy. ഓൾഡോയ്ക്ക് പകരം എന്ത് യൂസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും അവിടെ റോങ് ആയിട്ടുള്ളതൊക്കെ ഹൈലൈറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഈസി ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ദ മിസ്റ്റേക്സ് യു ജസ്റ്റ് നീഡ് ടു കറക്റ്റ് ഷോപ്പിന് എന്തിനാണ് പോയത് ഐ വെൻ ടു ദ ഷോപ്പ് ഓൾഡോ അല്ല അവിടെ വേണ്ടത് അതിന് പകരം ഒരു വാക്കാണ് വേറൊരു പൊസിഷൻ ആണ് വേണ്ടത് വേറൊരു കഞ്ചങ്ഷൻ ആണ് വേണ്ടത് അവിടെ അവിടെ റോങ് കഞ്ചങ്ഷൻ ആണ് യൂസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ളത് I had promised പകരം എന്ത് യൂസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും 
beginning with B. Yes, because I had promised to buy a toy. Toy. And a I... chocolate. Eh? And a and, and chocolate. And a chocolate. Uh, because, yes, because I had planned to buy a toy and a chocolate for my little child. It is only when I reached the shop that I realized I had only few coins more coins exactly a few coins with me a few coins with me a venom a few coins and a venom few and on a theory done a meaning a few coins with me correct coins matra me and the guy rule and the insula so this is how you correct the errors in the sentence about much a sentence girl and okay and i'm coming slow so because understand what are the errors and how they can be corrected. The next set of sentences are uh, fill in the blanks types of questions. This is also a passage. Puri sentence matra no kada, namada, matamaita no kya namada in the answers. So there are some uh, choices which are given there. You can answer by looking at those choices. Regu is an dash boy. Industry and industry sound. Industrious. Industrious because industrious is an adjective. Adjective on order, boy, describe you. Either that little boy. Industry in order, no one. Industry in order, hard work. Hard working and other artemarning, industrious no lavacana. So here it is the kind of part of speech. Part of speech no one, noun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunctional, and parts of speech. And the correct using the correct part of speech. Okay, he loves reading books. The book he has with Dash now is The Immortals of Meluha by Amish. He has with he and him. Exactly, Joffrey, it is him. Sri Lakshmi, that's right. Him. Use of proper pronouns. Okay, use of proper pronouns. So that is the, that's the part of speech that we have here. For a part of speech, um, correct it. You see, I am going to check in the exercise. Dash is quiet. It is quiet. Ah, book in a course, you are a book in a reference word. It. Okay, it is called a reference word. Reference word, a lingle pronoun. It and all the pronoun which are books in a pair. All the other pair, but he, she, they, and the other. So that is the called a reference word or problem. It is quiet. Interesting. Yes, that's right, Hari Priya, Joffi, Sri Lakshmi. Interesting. And adjectives. Yes, Hari Priya, it is informative. compassionate informative on out of it. So if you know how to use the proper adjectives in place, upon adjectives in a core exercise, pictures of which is on. So it is easy to do this exercise. If you know what part of speech to use, 
in different situations. Next is a picture description. We have a picture description class. We have a picture and we have a paragraph of a picture. Whatever you see in the picture, you have to write in full sentences. So, we have to write proper sentences. We have to check the exercise. So, you can describe the picture in a paragraph. You can begin by saying that this is the picture of a house. Uh, it is the view of a kitchen in the house. The mother is working with the plates. She is cleaning the plates and the children are trying to take. Yes, it is a view of the kitchen. That's right, Joffy. The children are take, trying to take some snacks from the shelf and the boy is climbing on the stool and the stool is toppling. The stool is going to fall down. So this is the view. You can describe what all the other things that you see in the picture. You can say that there are there are curtains which are adorning the window, but only a paragraph. You don't have to write a whole whole page. Or a paragraph is on do. One sixty words more than about one paragraph. One word will change it. Then that we have to have to describe it in a paragraph. And what is it checking? They are checking whether we are able to write proper correct sentences in English. English to proper write a sentence say that but you want to check here in our exercise or not. This is also something this which can be easily done. Okay, the next is uh, tense errors. But the correct errors in our in our level. Tense errors and tense in the world in the same way in the same way. Now, the present tense is the past tense, where I am born in the future tense. The tense is correct at UCM, but you know, the checking in the sentence. So, there are some errors which are highlighted. You just have, have to correct them. Our tense errors are correct. Here. Agriculture have our principal source of income. Is sun out of Varanda? Have a la is sun Varanda? Exactly. Yes, Joffy, Sri Lakshmi. Sri Lakshmi. Okay, so uh, agriculture is. Idinum e parnavala, but sentence in the baki bangla and danamka. Till recently, you know, the Kalam Vare in the Larthaman. So, Avada Po used the program used Dana and farmers used the ancient and outdated methods for agriculture till recently. Pavada past in Sana, first sentence lay, present in Sana, second sentence lay past in Sana, and past in Sana because there is the two words till recently. At the Galam, where you which is not only to be working in the law in another till recently. At the Galam, where you which is not to be working in the law in another. Upper wonder farmers used past tense were not first sentence, first sentence, second sentence, past tense at present. And at the sentence, like two words at present. At present, they are, yes, Joffy, that is right. They are using, they are using. ING one. At present, yes, they are using, they are using new and advanced methods. Our developing a law. We can see picture and not further. They are using new and enhanced advanced methods. They will pick in the program. We can see picture the we can see picture the past tense past tense. Exactly, Joffrey developed through scientific research. You are at the sentence less than a rendered and so on. At present, they are using new and advanced methods developed through. Scientific research. The first part of the sentence, 
present continuous second part of the sentence le, we are using past tense yes ramina shri lakshmi apna that's right developed ana avada varanda it uh, improved and increase productivity considerably അവിടെ ഒരു ഹാസ് ആഡ് ചെയ്താൽ മതി ഹാസ് ഇംപ്രൂവ്ഡ് എന്ന് ഒരു ഹാസ് ആഡ് ചെയ്താൽ അവിടെ ശരിയാവും താങ്ക് യു ഫോർ ദോസ് റെസ്പോൺസസ് ഹാസ് ഇംപ്രൂവ്ഡ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻക്രീസ് പ്രൊഡക്ടിവിറ്റി കൺസിഡറബിൾ ഇംപ്രൂവ് എന്ന് നമുക്ക് അവിടെ യൂസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റില്ല കാരണം ഇറ്റ് ഇംപ്രൂവ് ഇറ്റ് ഇംപ്രൂവ്സ് ആണ് പക്ഷെ അത് ഇംപ്രൂവ്സ് ആയാലും ഇൻക്രീസസ് എന്നും പറഞ്ഞാൽ അത് കഴിഞ്ഞ ഉടനെ സോ ഇറ്റ് ഇംപ്രൂവ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻക്രീസസ് പ്രൊഡക്ടിവിറ്റി കൺസിഡറബിളി എന്ന് വരേണ്ടി വരും പക്ഷെ അങ്ങനെ വരാത്തത് കൊണ്ട് ക്യാൻ ഓൺലി ആഡ് ഹാസ് ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ഇംപ്രൂവ്ഡ് ആൻഡ് ഇൻക്രീസ് പ്രൊഡക്ടിവിറ്റി കൺസിഡറബിളി സോ ഹാസ് ഇംപ്രൂവ്ഡ് ആണ് അവിടെ എറർ കറക്ഷൻ വരേണ്ടത് നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ഇസ് മെസ്സേജസ് and their meaning this is uh, something we have done in the first module notices adinde where is it seen cnet ennu varunu nammal edanam okay cnet pinne meaning appo first one see switch off mobile phones ullathu cnet uh, prayer halls conference halls classrooms meeting places etc meaning you must switch off your mobile phone appo full sentence aite edana meaning edumba cnet nalladhu stalam evadeyanu kaanunnu nalla edha pinna meaning nalladhu full sentence aite edana full sentence aite edanu parayumbo you have to write you must you should i think you must switch off your mobile phones endu nammal full sentence aite edu so that is the answer to this question so each question has one mark so you get three marks from that exercise so this is something which is there in the first module itself first module la thanne illa oru exercise part c so this brings us to the end of part uh, b part b nammal parnadu grammar aan part c ennu parayunnathu is completely composition composition is writing ezhudala appa it will have a lot of marks so that is part c the first question in part c is related to group discussion a topic is given and based on that topic you just have to write two points in agreement and two points in disagreement or topic therum aa topic ne base cheyidu rendu points ennu parna rendu full sentences in agreement rendu full sentences in disagreement adhe forum against um aayitu aa topic ne forum against um aayitu nammal points ennu parna total four points nammal ezhudandi varu ana four points ഫോറും അഗൈൻസ്റ്റുമായിട്ട് ഫോർ ആയിട്ട് രണ്ട് പോയിന്റ് രണ്ട് സെൻറ്റൻസസ് എഗൈൻസ്റ്റ് ആയിട്ട് രണ്ട് സെൻറ്റൻസസ് അങ്ങനെ നാല് സെൻറ്റൻസസ് എഴുതിയാൽ യു ഗെറ്റ് ഫോർ മാർക്സ് ദ ടോപ്പിക് ഗിവൺ ഫോർ ദിസ് ദിസ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ പേപ്പർ ഇസ് യൂണിഫോം യൂണിഫോംസ് ആർ നെസസറി ഫോർ കോളേജ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് യൂണിഫോംസ് വേണം എന്നുള്ളതിന് ഫോറിന് നമ്മൾ രണ്ട് സെൻറ്റൻസസ് എഴുതുക എന്തുകൊണ്ട് യൂണിഫോം വേണം എന്നുള്ളത് അതിന് നമ്മൾ രണ്ട് സെൻറ്റൻസസ് ഫോർ എഴുതുക എഗൈൻസ്റ്റ് എന്തുകൊണ്ട് പാടില്ല എന്ന് പറയുന്നതിന് രണ്ട് സെൻറ്റൻസസ് എഴുതും സോ യു ഗെറ്റ് എ ടോട്ടൽ ഫോർ സെൻറ്റൻസസ് ഈ സെൻറ്റൻസ് യു ഗെറ്റ് വൺ മാർക്ക് ഈച്ച് എനി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ഇൻ ദിസ് എനി ഡൗട്ട്സ് ഇൻ ദിസ് ഓക്കെ അപ്പം നമ്മൾ എങ്ങനെ എഴുതണം എന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഫോർ ദ ടോപ്പിക് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് നമുക്ക് ഫോർ ദ ടോപ്പിക് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് നമുക്ക് വൺ ടു എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് നമുക്ക് എഴുതാം ഓക്കെ എന്നിട്ട് എഗൻസ്റ്റ് ദ ടോപ്പിക് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് നമുക്ക് വൺ ടു എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് എഴുതാം 
So this is how you can answer this question. Next is self introduction. Self introduction नमले class ले चाहिए था ना। अच्छा इधर लोगों को पता है इधर नहीं चाहिए। नमले अलग introduce ही आ। They will give you the details in the question paper. They will be giving giving you the details of somebody. You will have to imagine that you are that person. नमला आना आलम ने विचार दिया नमले introduce ही आ। अगर नहीं इधर basic details मात्रा ना डालो नमले full sentence side, proper sentence side इधर नहीं बैठ। so self introduction not about yourself but about the person who is mentioned in the question paper appa ella peru ella julia ella qualification ella adile thannittundao adine base cheyidu nammal or self introduction nammal edu so ivada points aayittana question paper ullathu nammal adu edumbo paragraph aayittu edu for example first point edumbo nammal add cheyanam good morning everyone my name is gaurav sharma अब अपने नेम गौरव शर्मा ने बोलो, नमले इधर बो, गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन, माय नेम इस गौरव शर्मा, आई लिव इन बेंगलोर, आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय डिप्लोमा इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग, आई हैव द फॉलोइंग क्वालिफिकेशंस, दैट इस, आई हैव गोट एन एमएसपी सर्टिफिकेशन इन एएसपी डॉट नेट, माय स्ट्रेंथ and self-motivated and dedicated towards all the work that I undertake. So, if you have a point site, you have to write it in the answer book. You have to write it as full sentences. So, when you write such full sentences, it will uh, become a paragraph. And if you write the a proper paragraph, you can get five marks from this exercise. So, this is a self-introduction. ये जो पहले पहले मैं इतना ना जो मिस्टेक करना है जैसे सेल्फ इंट्रैक्शन ना कारण बताना है अबे जब जब कुछ ये इधर तोड़ गुम्बल रहे शायद अल्लाह ना हमले ये दोनों दे इंदा आना ना हमका दिले ताना चला था हाँ आला कुछ चटानो ना हमला ये दोनों तो डोंट राइट अबाउट योरसेल्फ इनफैक्ट वी शुड so when we write, we should think that we are that person and then and then we should try to answer that question. So that's how we have to answer this. Okay. So the next, uh, the next one is uh, job application. So job application has got two aspects. One is uh, cover letter and resume. You know, two things. One cover letter, one letter of job application letter. Another cover letter. Another one. Then another resume. Another is bio data. Now we have two things. One is exam. Another thing is one more, more, more. Another one is that. Another one is that. Another one is that. Cover letter jauh ikhun, cara orang orang resume jauh. Tapi entah mana kita prepared aja ikhun. Ia dah ana cody ikhun, ada answer answer ini. Cover letter ana ini exam ni jauh sikit lada. Apa nama cover letter ana answer ana. Ini dulu betul betul mistake kan ana cian. Cover letter jauh sikit tu pada ramu resume itu. Resume jauh sikit pas cian pada ramu cover letter itu. Ini dah ana common aja betul betul mistake. So you can avoid those mistakes. Why am I saying all these things? It is to avoid those mistakes when we write the exam. So here the question is to prepare a cover letter. So read the question properly before answering any question. Prepare a cover letter and orang yang cover letter ana prepare ini, orang orang resume ala benda. So from two nak cover ni, tu itu mana ana cover letter. Resume ni orang ni ni ala, nama kita basic qualifications, nama kita educational achievement, nama kita professional experience, all these things are listed. That is called the resume. Ada ni ekor format ni, nama kita text ni available. So when you are asked a resume, you have to write your bio data. When you are asked a cover letter, you just have to write the cover letter. Renda ayam, anjum mark ini question ayeri. Cover letter ane gelam, anjum mark ada ni ana. Resume ane gelam, anjum mark. So read the question properly and before before you answer that question. So here the question is to write a cover letter. So write a letter, a job application letter. It gets five marks. Next is uh, dialogue completion. 
So, that's language functions use here and learn opportunity. So, we had learned many language functions. Language functions were a request, uh, asking for directions, graduating others. I'm going to reward language functions and accepting a request, denying a request. We have the first module. But, language functions use here and it's a conversation or conversation. We have to answer the question. First, we have to clue the clue. It is a conversation by Ramla. She is talking to Radha. How do you understand that? From the conversation itself, we understand. Ramla is talking to Radha. So, what is she asking? Hi, Radha. We have to fill up that blank. Bracket lala the hindan, namukula hindan, answer yam and itla hindan. Request help to operate new washing machine. So, request is structure and dana naranjala, namuki easy at our sentence of William. And again, request structures you see on the reward structures you see on the other one. You see, for example, where I am request structure. Very good, Joffy. Could you use a request structure? Can you use a request structure? Reward structures in the either adding a number you see the filium button. Okay, can you can you please help me operate the new washing machine? Could you please help me operate the new washing machine? Aba angane aru 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 structure namke idea the nyala first conversation first dialogue complete hai. Denies request. Aba namle request deny jayi mbe no endu parer da endu parayi. Aba adi nyana namle parer structure sarna. Padichu I am sorry. Okay, I am sorry. Alengil. <coughs> Are they meaning I am afraid these structures can be used to deny a request. So suggest whether she can come over in the evening. Yes, Joffy, I am sorry I don't I think I can because I am busy now. I am sorry I don't think I can because I am busy now. So suggest whether she can Come in the evening. Can I? So like this, you can complete the conversation. Can I come over in the evening? So like that, you can complete that conversation. That will fetch you five marks. Next is paragraph writing. Paragraph writing in the first module. The second module. How to write a paragraph? First, you have to do brainstorming. Brainstorming, you have to think about that topic. You have to think of that topic. Write down the points as a word son. Two words son, like you know, the points. answer sheet You can draw it in the answer sheet. It's a draw a word son. Write down the points as the rays of the sun. Then organize those rays. After organizing those rays, start writing the paragraph. So the first sentence should be the topic sentence. first sentence You should give a heading. There should be a title. After the title, the first sentence should be the topic sentence. Then these sentences should be used, connected together by using connectors or linkers. So that the paragraph is very readable. And there should be a proper conclusion for the paragraph. Topic in the Gilda. Topic in the Mala proper organize. Padium words and words and words in the Mala ideas. Ideas in the Mala with heading. After giving a heading, you write the first sentence will be the topic sentence. For example, when I write a uh, sentence on the benefit of trees. That is the first one. And I write on the benefit of trees. There are many benefits 
which we get from trees and the like that. First sentence idea, the topic sentence is okay. In the next part, channel is that that is our first topic sentence level. So there's that is the topic sentence. Then there is the body of the paragraph, and there should be a proper conclusion. Conclusion is summing up. No, what that is all the part of the thing is all. Or or which part? Or part of the conclusion. So then you have a proper paragraph. You can, you are given two choices. If there are two, either one or the other, one is the only idea. So, that is said question proper. It was asked. So, when we are asking, we are asking. Okay, so two or the other one is the same. We will not be able to answer all the questions on any one. And under the two or the other, one is the only idea. You get six marks from that question. Next one, or a conversation. Asking directions. Somebody is asking you directions. So, there are those that take you one or directions. This is language function. In the very end, topic in the end, that is asking directions, making request, congratulating somebody, appreciating somebody, making a complaint. In the very end, different language functions are there. Language functions in a basic that will request in another. This is all language function in the very end. Asking for directions. Asking directions on the language function, the conversation. Then, we will do this. We will do this dialogue. 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 So, we will do this dialogue. Stranger. We will do this dialogue. So where does he want to go? He wants to go to the railway station. So uh, you can write like this. So stranger, could you direct me to the railway station? So you are accepting that request. Like this, you can complete in that conversation. Of course, for please follow this road for a kilometer. After that, uh, turn left, go a hundred meters, etc. Angana, directions will come. So then he will ask uh, some question. You can give the response. So like this, you can complete this conversation, and that also gives you six marks. Okay. The next uh, topic is preparing slide slides. Power PowerPoint presentation slides on how to prepare slides. That is also available there in the textbook on how to prepare slides. You have to draw slides. About the topic and all material and I'm going to turn that in a base is you move in text on. But other number of the alarm by like we have already discussed that it, it should be written as points. Points matra world. It will be long sentences. Huh? Long sentences are not suitable for Slides. So you have to read and understand, then write the points as two slides. So, this is a paragraph. This e paragraph is a little bit of a paragraph. We will prepare the slides. We will prepare the slides. We slide prepare the slides. We will prepare the slides. We will prepare the Six marks. So, total of six marks are there. Each slide will get you. Three marks each. So if you prepare two good slides, you will easily get six marks for this quest. And there is a choice for this question. On the gile, namke slides are prepare yam. Alengile, you can prepare a memo. This is the uh, exercise which is there in the last module. Last module la dana how to write a memo. In the lada memo in the varayna is a very official kind of communication. It's a very short communication. Very short, huh? Which is shorter than a formal letter. Very short. Memo and over and over. Very short, huh? If you look at the exercise, you will understand. It is very easy to write a memo. Even a power, a slide of preparing then a column easy, huh? But under paper, some students memo and answer. Yeah, the choice question I do under. They usually prefer to answer memo rather than to the slide. So you, if you find it easier, you can always go for the memo. In this question, both have six marks. 
You don't have to answer both of them. You can answer any one of them. So this is the pattern of the question paper. Is it clear? Any questions on this? Is it okay? Okay, thank you for the response. Sri Lakshmi, Krishna, Bhirami, Afna, Safinath, Sri Jit, Atharva, Jisna, and Maria, Alina, Subhida, Tirtha, Sarga, Nandana, Manjima, Grima, Shilpa. Adira, so many people are responding. Thank you for those responses. I will put all the material which is available for this, all the answers to the exercise. Google Classroom will upload him. As far as possible, I'll do it today itself. You can go through that uh, exercises which I will put in the Google Classroom. You can always ask me if you have any doubt. I will be always ready to help you. I can even take a class like this if required. In the Ingram topic, you can uh, in the online sessions, you can always ask me. I'm always ready to help you. you. Can If you find any doubt in any topic, just send me a message or call me. I'll be always available to help you. So that's it. Uh, we conclude the session for today. So wish you all the best. Enjoy your vacation. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir.